Hey guys, it's Monica. I am going to share with you some of my regrets for the year 2017. I know the year is not yet over, but I don't plan on buying anything else in December. So I think I'm pretty safe to say uh, I have my regrets for the year 2017. But before I actually share with you some of my regrets, let me just kind of recap my week a little bit. This week I had a couple of projects I've been working on and I haven't completed them all, but I did do a huge dent in them. So that was really good. So I really wanted to vlog more this week from work and all of that stuff and I really didn't, didn't do it. I started the week off why I do this, I don't know, but I started the week off going shopping with Jay and I'm gonna insert the clip in a little bit so you can have a good chuckle. And then because I had so many of you ask about my bun, my little fake little hairy bun thing here that I have on my head, uh, I'm going to at the very end kind of show you a, a get ready with me, so to speak, putting the bun on, doing doing my hair, sort of a casual, messy bun look. So I'm going to share that at the very end. But before I get to that end clip, we did go shopping, and this is just a few little clips of our shopping trip. I'm telling you, my husband, he is a, a trip. So I'm going to Kohl's with Jay. I hate shopping with my husband. I really, really do. Oh, I think he heard me say that. Yeah, feelings mutual. What? I heard you. What did I say? You hate shopping with me. Well, I think it's a man thing. I mean, it's a woman thing. I mean, men don't like to go, let's go shopping. <laughs> Whoa, a little bit of a... So we are off to Kohl's as you saw in the kitchen I said I hated to go shopping with Jay but anyway so we're off to Kohl's Jay needs some new pants yeah, for you. and we were chatting because Jay's son is in a relationship with a girl that we both really adore and I think he's gun shy so we were chatting about when do you know that you're in love so I asked Jay what was it when did you know you loved me I would probably have to say when you used to take out your false teeth. <laughs> I can't believe you said that. That's not true. Sure that is. is not true. This house just went on the market. It's true. Show them. <laughs> so why did you, I mean, what was it about me, my false teeth? Well, we won't go into that, but... I, I don't it, have false teeth. I, I think it was more your sexiness. You were very sexy. So it was a physical thing? I just think you're beautiful. He thinks I'm beautiful. Yeah, even with your false teeth. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have false teeth. So it was purely a physical attraction. That's why you fell in love with me. No, I thought we had good chemistry together. We always get along as friends, so I thought that helped a lot. And then once I get to know you more, it was more, then it became more, you know. Eh. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. So how long did it take you to know that you loved me? Five minutes, no. <laughs> That's true, five minutes. <laughs> I know, I didn't put a time frame on it. So, anyways. Back to the original point, <laughs> we're off to Kohl's. <laughs> Bye guys. <laughs> you see what I mean? Can you believe it? I mean, I do not have dentures. I couldn't believe when he said that. It was like a total shock. So anyways, I'm gonna get right into my fails or my regrets. The first thing I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you is my fascia blaster. How many of you know what a fascia blaster is? How many of you have one of these? Well, I'll tell you, I bought the fascia blaster and I know there's a huge, 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 huge amount of women and men too that swear by this, swear by it. And I've seen that before and afters. I'm still on the Facebook groups. I'm all over the place with this, but I will tell you the fascia blaster never worked for me. I tried. I went up and down my body. I, you know, this is sort of like it's supposed to break up cellul cellulite, cellulite. It's supposed to break up the little fat little pockets all over your body. 
And when it does it, you have to press really high because you're, you're breaking up the fat after you heat up your body, so to speak. It sounds really wacky. Well, anyways, I walked around with so many black and blue bruises from this thing, but I swear, it never, ever, ever made my cellulite look any better at all. So to me, uh, and I'm sorry for everyone that loves the Fascia Blaster. You know, maybe I'll try it again some other day or some other year. But right now, this has been a big fail for me, and this was pretty expensive. And then I spent the year, as many of you know, trying out different foundations. And I, you know, I mean, I tried the Wet n Wild, and as you can see from this collection that I have here, and I returned a lot of it. So there were times I bought a foundation, it didn't work for me, I immediately returned it. I was so sorry. I spent the money on all of those foundations because none of them, including the number seven airbrush away. Now I can wear the number seven lift and luminate. I love that one, but the airbrush away, no, that was a huge, huge, huge fail for me. Another fail for me this year, and I have been, I have, and I'm still using it. So you know what? Everyone says things take time and I know they take time. So I'm not gonna flush this down the toilet yet. But so far, my Skin Clinical Reverse Anti-Aging Light Therapy that I spent a lot of money on, I haven't seen a darn thing with it. And because it's so time consuming to use, I'm not using it as much as I should. So if I can get back onto a regimen, but you know what it is, when you start doing things that you know work, you just keep doing those things. Where I never saw anything or felt anything with this, I'm kind of slacking. So to be fair, maybe I'm working a little hotter, but right now, my two big expenses, Fascia Blaster, Reverse Anti-Aging Light Therapy, both of those have been a big, a big fail. Now the other fail for me, and, I, and I'm still using these products because I, I keep trying, but to be truthful, I will not repurchase them because I've not seen anything. And the Mario Baldescu Skin Care, this is the Glycolic Foaming Cleanser, this is not a cheap product and I bought this, I mean I have more than, I have about a little bit more than half a bottle left. I don't don't like it that much. I, um, I would much rather use my Body Mary exfoliating cleanser that I have. I love that much better on my skin than this. I'm not going to repurchase but I will because I am a believer in finishing what I start I will be reusing it. And the other one that has been a fail that it, in the sense that I've noticed nothing. I've got no immediate or long term, and I think I've used this for over a year now, gratification or benefit from it that I could physically see. I am a huge Matrixel fan. I love my Timeless Matrixel 3000. I love any products with Matrixel 3000. But the Matrixel 3000 and the Agriline just did nothing for me. This particular one is from Astorwood Naturals and it's much cheaper than the first Matrixel and Agriline that I bought. However, and I know a lot of people, this is Botox in the bottle. A lot of women that I love dearly love this product, but you know, and that just goes to prove that our skin is all different and what works for me may not work for you at all whatsoever. So obviously this is a clear example for me. That And then the only other thing is I, I, I diddled around with, I did with eyeshadow. I bought, you know, a number of little CoverGirl palettes. I bought a number of little other palettes. And um, I even bought, you know, the um, Makeup Re Revolution. It's kind of like really crapped out. I was looking for the name um, of the palette. As you can see, I've been using it. I spent a lot of time and maybe not a lot of money, but it, a cumulative, it was a lot of money on palettes that didn't really work all that well for me. I had a lot of fallout. I always had to use a fan brush to wipe off the fallout because it was just so much. I spent, I spent, I think I wasted a lot of money. So, um, the, the tail end of this year, I got myself two more expensive palettes. I really like them. I'm very happy with that. I'm not going to diddle around with that. So I'm not going to go into my favorites because I'm still working on that. I'm working on uh, a hair care. I've got a bunch of products that I've been trying and I've been using. So that's going to be a video that I'm going to still do. And also my favorites. So yeah, 
I'm sorry, the Matrixel 3000 Aquiline, I didn't see any difference at all. And some of the other products. So thankfully I didn't spend a huge amount of money on products that failed, but I spent enough. So that said, I'm going to insert this clip here. And this is just me one morning. Now this is day three. No, I'm sorry. Yeah, day three of hair. Meaning that I don't wash my hair every other night. I try to go three days if I can. Sometimes I can't and I have to wash it. But this was day three. I threw a couple of the, the uh, you know, soft like Velcro-y uh, rollers in my hair just for some body. I knew I was going to put my hair up, so I really didn't care. And that's the really real cool thing about these little bun things that you can see here. You can do, I mean, you can put your hair up and you, it works really well. And even if your hair was kind of dirty. I did use the Topic on my lighter spots. Now, it's not as dramatic as the first day that I used it because I didn't wash my hair. I did comb my hair, I did brush my hair, and most of it, the powder had come out, but I probably still had a little bit of residue in there. I don't, I don't know for sure, but I did sprinkle some of that on, as you can see with the video clip. And, um, and then I just kind of brushed my hair out a little and shook my hair out. Once I sprinkle it on, I rub my hands through my scalp so that you can, so that it can actually hopefully be you know, go through my whole scalp area a little bit. I don't use a lot of it. I imagine this little bottle of Topic is going to last me quite a while. And as most of you know, if you've watched my previous video, this was sent to me free from the Octoly website. I'll put all the information down below in the description box. But I was talking to my sister and I told her I'm buying this again. I really like this product a lot. So for those, you know, little sparsier areas or just where you want to fill in, I think it looks perfect. Once I was done that, I combed out my hair, I teased my hair a little bit, and then I took part of it and I put it up into my very short, short, stubby, stubby, stubby little ponytail. And then I took my bun, and I have three buns, but I took my bun and I, it's just like an elastic. If you have an elastic that's too big, you have to wrap it around twice, and that's exactly what I did with my bun. I wrapped it around twice to get it onto my little short stubby ponytail. The rest of my short hair in the back I clipped up, and it held, you know, put a little comb in and it stayed in place. And then I just kind of adjusted the ponytail, the bun, the fake bun, how I liked it on the top of my head. And I used a couple of the bigger bobby pins to secure it a little bit better. But And then I spray um, a little bit, uh, hairspray, not a whole lot, but I do do a little hairspray, especially around my own edges on the bottom, and uh, and just to hold that hair up. So that, that kind of holds the bun and everything in place. And that was it for me. I ended up just putting on my face my sunblock, my Australian gold sunblock that I wear every single day, seven days a week. And then I used my Avon. I have an Avon blush that I've used a long time ago. I'm gonna link Julie Smith's channel. She sells Avon. If you don't know Julie, she's an awesome, awesome woman. And she sells Avon. I didn't buy this blush from her because I bought, and I also didn't buy the foundation that you'll see on my counter in the picture that I showed from her because I bought that prior to even know that knowing that Julie does Avon. But I have bought some products from Julie from her online store. And, um, and there are things on Avon that I love. I love my lip liners. They're all, they're all Avon. So on this particular day, I did a little bit of a blush. I made sure that my sunblock went all over my face, down my neck, into my chest, onto my ears, all over the place. And then I topped it off with a little blush. And then I took my lip liner. And then I ended up taking my Buxom Lip Gloss White Russian. I think it was White Russian. I'm not too sure I'll get two of them. And I just put that over my lips. And that was really, that was my go-to face. That was what I did that day. I didn't, I didn't put any foundation on. I didn't do much of anything else. I did, you know, obviously do my mascara. But, um, but that was really it. So, anyways, for those that ask, that's sort of, um, sort of get ready for me in my bathroom. I'm obviously filming this in my bathroom again. So I'm hoping the sound comes out okay. I do have a mic on my camera. So I'm hoping that the sound comes out okay and that it's not too bright or too dark in here. I do have my ring light, you know, I've carried that in just to kind of light up better. Um, so hopefully this will work. So thank you so much guys for, you know, hanging in there all the way to the end. And, you know, before you, before you, um, 
click off make sure that you subscribe to my channel and please 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 there are a number of lovely ladies on YouTube in our mature community and I've got two links in my description box where you can check out some lists of these ladies but please support the mature community you know if you're sick and tired of seeing a 20 something advertise skincare for mature ladies you know you can help us be heard by supporting the channel and I don't mean monetary but ultimately yes the more you like the more you share the more you comment and the more you you tell people to subscribe that is all gonna help but um, and that's what I mean by your support so please continue to support the channel like this video leave me a comment I try my best to get back to every single one of you in a timely manner sometimes it might take me longer than others but I do try and um, and please take some time to check out the list and go if you're not supporting or not subscribed to some of these other ladies go check them out they're absolutely wonderful I'm also going to link Carol from the o Carol's uh, video where she had a bunch of us submit photos and you can see a picture of me and a number of other content creators in her video when we were kids and we had bad bang days now I have cowlicks so I have two cowlicks, yeah, I've got one in the back, so I've got like three. So even when I was a kid, my cowlicks were something fierce. So anyways, thanks so much for hanging in there, and I will see you on the flip side. Bye, guys.